Wanted to show you guys, number one, look how big it is, right? Hey, Mike Van Duzer with Keep On Growing. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, we got something cool to show you. It's over here. We're gonna go up the ladder right there. Let me turn this around. Sorry about that, but hold on one second. There we go. It's right there. It's our pak choy. Wanted to show you guys, number one, look how big it is, right? No work at all. Planted these out and just left them, right? Set it and forget it. They're in these downspouts. I want to show you. That's an eight foot downspout. There's all kind of lettuce growing down there. We got watercress. Got more over here. But I just want to let you know that this was truly set it and forget it. We planted these out, grew these from seed in our little takeout containers, right? I think they're sitting right back over there. Planted them out and left it here. It's been sitting out here in the rain. This still has a good amount of water in it, so the nutrients get a little diluted, but you can still grow some plants without all of the stress and, and worrying and all of the work. I just planted this out. We've got kale growing down there. We've got pak choy. There's more kale back there. We've got watercress, not to mention our whole wall. We'll talk about that later. It's a little bright over there right now, but carefree, totally carefree. This is why everybody needs to be growing like this. Also, back here, see there's some more pak choy. Not quite as big, they're doing good. You know, we can harvest those, put them in our salads or soup, it's awesome. But you notice they're not quite as big as these right out here. And that's because they're under the shade cloth. We talked about that before. So the amount of light that you can get your plants, you know, where they're not wilting and you know, they're, they're not in the direct sun all day. As much light as you can get them is always best. These are sitting out here, they did quite nice, right? And just a couple feet away, you know, these guys are doing good, but the results are not the same as the ones that are out here in the sun. So wherever you're living, if you're having problems, you know, it might be as simple as just taking something and moving it a little. It might just need a few more hours of sun, you know, every day. So there's a whole lot that goes into growing and you can stress out about everything or you can try and do something like this plan out your greens right you can find out you know where things grow best how they grow best and i just use the master blend formula i don't mess around with it i don't change it up i don't do anything it's just the same master blend formula we've been using put them in our downspouts planted these out you know from seed right they were grown in little takeout containers i think Think they're actually over there i still got the ones so you can see how small those are those are the same ones that we took and we planted these out right and once they get into the nutrients they take off so these guys took a few weeks you know they were small they were growing kind of slow we had a little bit of weather it got kind of cold but after a while it warmed up here things took off and everyone needs to be growing stuff like this you know if you're a seasoned gardener if you like growing in the soil, that's fine. We're doing a little back to eating experiment over here. You know, we're not knocking anything, right? As long as you're growing, that's all that's important. But the people who have tried growing traditional gardens and doing the weeding and tilling and, and all of the work that goes with it, if you're having problems with that, make you one of these or get one. They're on sale. They're, you know, in my Etsy shop, the link down in the description. Get the end caps. You can make your own it's nice and easy but if you do this and you get the hang of this you'll do it over and over and over you'll be addicted there won't be any stopping you look at all our moringa up here this is our moringa we planted out about three years ago so it's winter time it's about time to cut it back but we still love putting that in our smoothies All right, here's a quick tip. This lettuce needs to be harvested. Just about had it. We've been picking off of it, but I want to show you really quick. Have this container, food grade container, and this is that bubble wrap like we made our tent out of. 
kept it wrapped up so you can tell that this has been in here it's grown for a few months you know we've been harvesting off of it you can see how clean it looks no weeds no tilling no mold right look inside no algae so that's one way to control your algae is to control the light to keep all the light blocked out all right I'm gonna replant it I'm just sitting here chilling outside of uh, the post office. I got, you know, some boxes to drop off. And uh, this is getting towards Christmas, so this post office gets really busy. If you don't get here first thing in the morning, there's already about half a dozen people sitting here waiting. Um, it gets busy, and you can be here for a while. So I like to get here right when they open. And my problem is there's only one road, one direct route out of my neighborhood, and there's a school zone. And the traffic backs up onto the main road. It's a tiny road, so there's nowhere for cars to pull over, so they block up the roads, and the only way to get around is to go into ongoing traffic. And it's just a big mess, so I, I like to avoid it. What I like to do is just go ahead and get me a little cup of coffee, leave a little early, and just sit here and wait and, and uh, figure it'd be a good time to make a video. I'm excited, like I said, I'm, I'm here dropping off some packages. Uh, you guys don't realize how many people are out there like like growing their own food. It's, it's exciting and it just blows my mind. But uh, I just wanna let you all know, like the downspouts, the end caps, I'm really excited about this. And I wanna thank Karen from the World Race Project uh, for getting me going on this because this opens it up like I had that video said game changer I, I wasn't joking about that that wasn't like a title just to like get attention this really is and uh, with these end caps um, instead of ordering like these big boxes the downspouts I only sell them in like uh, one length and it's 24 inches right now and the reason why I do that is it's a, a good size grow box. You can get, you know, six plants in there. Um, I use them. I have a lot of them around my garden and I enjoy it. But I've also got some that are four foot and some that are eight foot. And if you've got like back on our uh, um, house when we were farm sitting, we had uh, handrails that were eight foot apart and we had eight foot downspouts, right? And that's what's exciting is with these end caps, instead of you know just buying a two foot thing and having a big box like that, you can buy the end caps, make it yourself, just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a downspout, right? And you can cut it up and use these down these end caps um, and you can make whatever size you want. So pretty much with uh, I think a pack of four right now, they're on sale, you've got one two so for ten dollars you get two sets and with one set if you go and get a downspout that's fifteen dollars i think they run about fifteen right now they used to be about twelve dollars so fifteen dollars and then five dollars for the end caps for twenty dollars you can have a ten foot long downspout if you just want to go and pick one up from home depot lowe's uh, you don't even have to cut it. Just drill some holes in it, slap the end caps on it, and you'll have a 10-foot cracky container to grow you all kinds of leafy greens. So for 20 bucks a piece, you know, that's a deal. And, and it's really cool. And a lot of you are taking advantage of it. Um, like these boxes over here, those have 10 sets in them. So 10 times 2, they're going to have 20 grow boxes. You know, anywhere from one foot to 10 foot long, right? So this is really exciting because I can fit a lot more product into a small box. You guys can save on shipping. See this box right here? The reason why I use that length is that I was playing around with different lengths when I first started out 
and if I get a little longer than that the price and shipping at least on Etsy where where my shop is the price and in, in the shipping calculations like doubles and, and and it's crazy because then the shipping gets to be almost as much as or more than the product itself you know if I run a sale people are paying more for shipping than my actual product so with the end caps we can fit a lot more in a smaller package you guys can get more bang for your buck you're not paying for a huge package if you just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get the vinyl downspout yourself that's the big part if you can do that I got the end cap for you and and for relatively not that much money I mean 20 bucks for a 10 foot downspout um, and and you can have you yourself leafy greens herbs just all kinds of stuff growing all through the year it's, it's just fantastic so you guys Take advantage of it right now because I've got it on sale, half price. Uh, a set of four was $19.99. I've got it for $9.99 right now. And basically after I buy the materials, I buy the boxes, I buy labels, I buy tape, I buy uh, printer ink, um, paper, uh, packaging material. Basically I'm working for free. But I don't mind it because... This isn't about me. This is about all of us, right? This is about uh, helping the world, right? This is teaching the world how to feed itself. So I can't do it forever, but I don't mind doing it right now. It's Christmas. I'm in a festive mood, and I don't mind putting in a lot of work. I work to the wee hours of the morning, you know, cutting these things, packaging them up. Um, I want people to grow their own food. Like I said, we're starting a movement. This isn't uh, about me just selling a product or whatever this is helping a lot of people grow their own food so uh, like I said I can't do it forever um, I could go work at McDonald's and, and make 12 bucks an hour or 15 bucks an hour but uh, at the end of the day you know when we look back we're gonna look back at you know how many people we helped and and not worry about how many hours I spent making something or, or how much work I put in it's 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 more about helping everyone right so take advantage of it now like I said I can't keep doing it forever uh, holidays are coming up usually there's not too much shopping going on from Christmas till New Year's you know I can just put my nose to the grindstone and, and get a lot of work done so I don't mind helping people out uh, but like I said I can't do it forever so uh, let's get it done you guys share this with you know all your friends let's get everybody growing their own food what do you say all of this right here all of that there all of that all the way down there all of that and all of that the stuff out front I haven't done anything all I've done is come out here and plant them and left it you know so take it easy don't stress out it's totally possible much love y'all get out there go grow something life's too short not to grow your own food Live to inspire, keep on growing, be the change.